critical-sized segmental defects pose a significant clinical problem associated with extremity reconstruction following high-energy trauma. Currently, there is no standard protocol for treating this. Introducing TrueMatch Graft Cage, Long Bone, a 3D printed patient specific implant from Depew Synthes for the treatment of critical sized segmental defects. The open mesh and tube and tube design facilitate vascularization, while the shelves maintain structural support. This biocompatible and resorbable device can be printed to treat segmental defects of varying sizes. The graft cage device is made of a blend of 96% polycaprolactone, a bioresorbable polymer, and 4% hydroxyapatite. The polymer used here is similar to that used in drug delivery devices. Polycaprolactone has a slow resorption rate and is not known to have adverse tissue reaction, while hydroxyapatite is a mineral component of normal bone. The device is also coated with proprietary calcium phosphate gives the graft cage an osteoconductive surface and facilitates cell attachment for the formation of new bone. The extracted bone graft is incorporated into the cage. The graft cage provides structure to the packed graft. The overall construct mimics previous bone shape. The graft cage maintains the morselized bone graft's position within voids or resections in non-articular regions of the humerus, femur, or tibia. Used in conjunction with traditional rigid fixation, the graft cage is patient-specific, ensuring optimal fit, placement, and retention within bone defects during healing. The open mesh and tube-in-tube -tube design allows nutrient access and angiogenesis, which supports bone graft remodeling. Osteogenesis that is brought about by the activity of progenitor cells in the morselized cortical cancellous bone graft material occurs to fill the site of injury over time. This also initiates the formation of new blood vessels. The graft cage device is radiolucent, which allows the patient's recovery process to be easily monitored, as opposed to a radiopaque titanium cage that restricts evaluation of the healing. The graft cage is resorbed in a two-step process. Initially, bulk degradation occurs by hydrolysis, reducing the molecular weight of the cage. Next, macrophages metabolize the short polymer chains in a process called phagocytosis with CO2 and water as byproducts. TrueMatch Graft Cage Long Bone Redefining Critical Sized Segmental Defect Treatment